murder. And um, I guess it's a Kurt Cobain thing, that's the closest example I can use in this lifetime. Um, there's lots of different things you can do to make it look like a, a what do you call that word, a conspiracy. And, but I, and I, Dr. Bill says something that to me makes a great deal of sense, that past behavior um, predicts future behavior. And Maryland was known for Great Depression, which I believe was the pandemic, and um, it shows it to me now. And I think that the predict story of future behavior with Maryland, and I think it's ludicrous to think that this woman who took a great deal of pills and alcohol on a regular basis would, would not be capable of killing herself and was murdered. I mean, that's my personal take on it. That's I feel that after seeing some things so vividly during regression, that I would have seen someone holding me down, holding the situation to murder. I, I, why wouldn't I speak of that? Why wouldn't it come forward? I mean, sure. I'm sure the whole point of remembering it all is, is to do with, like, yeah. but was it, uh, in, in your, what's your feeling, your experience after regressions and everything you went through? Uh, was this like a, a suicidal attempt or it was more of uh, an accidental event, like an accidental overdose? Uh, what I is tried to explain it to you before that um, it's significant that the country that we're in right now is not the country that Sherry, uh, I think right. I think there are other people here that need the room, but what I would like to ask you a final question, unless somebody has another one. Um, now, with all that you know about yourself, um, where are you headed? Uh, is there any message you want to give to the world? We start now with a small group. But I hope that it'll go to millions. What would you like as a message to give to the world? And what, how, you, how you feel? I mean, what's your general feeling now that you know what you know? What's funny is I have several messages, and they're all sort of interconnected. Obviously, you know, it, it, with reincarnation, it, it's such a storytelling thing about people, what not to do, how not to live. I mean, just that level alone is fast for reincarnation to be accepted. And obviously suicide, like, I mean, I would want to speak up on that, that's for sure, because, I mean, especially, I feel that I punish Sherry because of, and sometimes I joke with Keja, and I don't know if you can explain to them who Keja is, but I'll Oh, I explained, I explained already. Yeah, I, you know, pardon my French, but I'll say, oh, I have to suffer because I want to so rich this, you know what I mean? Like, it's just a joke for us, and I don't always say bitch, that's not the word I'm using. This dumb girl, what she's done, like, I feel suffered for, but how can I deny myself? I give it to myself also, like, it's nice to me to blame on her, but then that's almost like living like a split personality, so I realize this is based on karma, and I would want people to understand. Now, the day in the future, and I'm sure 
message about suicide is going to be treated more important because people are going to think, gee, this is fruitless, this is pointless, and I'm coming back to do this all over again. So I think it would help, and I think that that's a massive one right there. And obviously, Rachel Hay, but there's just so many messages. I mean, about things we're taught, about closed mindedness. It's on every level. Well, I hope that. Uh, there will be a time when I face uh, audiences that are not necessarily Buddhists and uh, would believe uh, not only that Dalai, La Dalai Lama reincarnated and uh, that you did too. So thank you so much. And um, uh, I hope everybody in the audience knows how wonderful you are and dedicated and how you, they have to know that you saved me, you saved my life, you saved so much. Oh, thank you. Thank God. Take care. Good night. Okay, love everybody. Bye. 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 So we're done. Yeah, uh, it happens usually when a person dies prematurely yeah. uh, of a tragic death or unjust death, like in wars, you know, young right. soldiers dying, they come back fast. So there's no penalty suicide versus dying in war? Um, I think that in this case it wasn't suicide, as you heard. It was uh, an accidental overdose. As a matter of fact, she didn't want to die. She planned to get some new furniture from Mexico the following day. I mean, she made plans to remarry Joe DiMaggio. I mean, she wasn't about to commit suicide. And as uh, John you Minor, the former suicide. prosecutor, concurred with, she didn't plan that. Oh, yet. Okay. That, um, actually. Yeah. Anything? Uh, I had one. Was there, we heard all the coincidences and the pictures and all, was there anything telling to you that was troubling that didn't seem to fit? Um, good, very good question. I, uh, we always had doubts. And what I was glad about is that herself was doubtful. Because the differential diagnosis between psychosis and psychic experience or past life recollection is that a person that is not psychotic, has doubts. Mm -hmm. Somebody that's psychotic has a fixed head, that's it. I am barely more old, that's it. But no, she had doubts. And I had doubts, obviously, more than her. So uh, eventually we worked it out and we found, I mean, it was confirmed also by that uh, channeler that's famous and accurate uh, uh, twice on uh, June 18th and July 14th that she is the linear and only reincarnation of Mary. There were no hard facts that just didn't match? Not really. Uh, I think that um, uh, everything, um, when you talk about hard facts, uh, like she would say a lie and I would discover that, no, that I, I couldn't find anything. And I worked with her for, you know, with an interruption of six years uh, from 1998. Oh, the iris, yeah. I didn't tell you, but I discovered once I woke up in the morning and they said, well, they do this in airports to discover terrorists uh, through iris recognition test, which is more sensitive than the fingerprint. It has more details. So uh, it came to my mind that we could compare the iris of Melly Monroe and of Sherry with this apparatuses. But, um, it seems like everyone turns, turned me down. They didn't want to get involved in the subject. I talked to professors in computers at universities. They did it up to a point, then they dropped it. They didn't want to get involved. 